Numerous airlines have taken legal action or claimed compensation from Pratt & Whitney, a U.S. engine manufacturer, regarding its geared turbofan GTF engine. Indian Airlines Go First and Indigo, Polish airline LOT, Hungarian airline Wizz Air, and German airline Lufthansa are among the identified names. It is important to note that, while most airlines did not file cases, aviation regulators took action. For example, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration has issued guidelines about P&W engine concerns. The matter concerning P&W engines is intricate and constantly changing. Although the majority of airlines have opted to pursue compensation through negotiations, Indian Airlines Indigo and Go First have been known to have initiated legal proceedings against the engine manufacturer. When P&W unveiled the PW1000G series, commonly called the GTF engine, it was hailed as a game-changer. The engine promised a 15% decrease in fuel consumption, a 75% reduction in noise footprint, and a 50% reduction in pollutants over prior versions. These statements were not marketing exaggeration. They were supported by years of research and development, making the NEO engines the preferred choice for airlines worldwide. Indian carriers, particularly Go Air, later Go First, went all in on NEO engines, basing their fleet on the Airbus A320 NEO, which is powered entirely by PW engines. Go Air, founded in 2005 by the Wadia Group, quickly established itself as a dependable low cost carrier that offers inexpensive rates without sacrificing quality. The airline's business plan was straightforward but effective operate a lean fleet of contemporary aircraft maintain high utilization rates, and pass on cost savings to customers in the form of attractive ticket prices. Go Air quickly expanded its reach across India by emphasizing efficiency and operational excellence, linking large metros to Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. The debut of the Airbus A320neo, powered by Pratt & Whitney's highly acclaimed PW1100 GJM engines, appeared to be an ideal fit for Go Air's plan. By 2016, Go Air had committed to an order for 144 A320 NEO aircraft, showing its aim to expand rapidly and strengthen its market position. What appeared to be isolated occurrences quickly became a full-blown operational disaster. The PW1100 GJM engines, which were supposed to be the airline's crown jewel, began to demonstrate a variety of issues, including engine vibrations, early component wear, and frequent mid-air shutdowns. The most alarming issue was the high frequency of unplanned engine removals, which resulted in extended downtimes and major operational disruptions. These concerns were nothing short of catastrophic for airlines with tight schedules and razor-thin profit margins. By early 2023, it was evident that Go Air was losing the battle. The airline's fleet utilization has dropped dramatically, with more planes sitting idle on the runway than in the air. Passenger confidence had evaporated, resulting in a significant decline in bookings and exacerbating the airline's financial troubles. With no plausible path to recovery, Go Air had no choice except to discontinue operations in May 2023. The failure of Go Air sent shockwaves through India's aviation industry. India's largest airline by market share, Indigo, has also been adversely hurt by the Neo engine crisis. While the airline has a more diverse fleet than Go Air, a large proportion of its aircraft are powered by P&W NEO engines. As the engine troubles persisted, Indigo was compelled to take extraordinary measures to reduce their impact on operations. One of the most notable responses was the decision to wet lease planes from other airlines. Wet leasing, in which an airline borrows an aircraft along with its crew, maintenance, and insurance, is commonly employed as a temporary solution to capacity issues. However, for Indigo, wet leasing became a lifeline, letting the airline maintain its wide domestic and international network despite engine-related downtime in its own fleet. The situation became so grave that Qatar Airways, one of the world's largest airlines, agreed to wet lease planes to Indigo. As engine difficulties continue to plague airlines, grounded planes have become more regular at India's main airports. Brand new Airbus A320 Neo planes were grounded and accumulating dust. The shortage of cast metal components and other parts continues to impede the American manufacturer's capacity to build new engines and raise the volume of maintenance required to address the PW1000G recall issue.
The manufacturer's parent company, RTX, said that customer compensation for the PW1000G totaled US $200 million in the first half of 2024. Approximately one-third of the global fleet using these engines, 653 aircraft as of July 25, is grounded. P&W is attempting to increase output while also conducting large-scale recalls of its best-selling PW engines for inspections and part replacements. These recalls are required owing to the possibility of defective components associated to powder metal production concerns. In general, the situation appears to be as follows. Engines continue to fail in large numbers, with the main issues being gearbox failure and cracks in turbine components, most likely only in the low-pressure turbine, although I'm not certain, the company continues to sell engines and approximately 1,000 aircraft have already been grounded. It is paying close to half a billion dollars annually in compensation, and the total value of the engines sold is approaching that. At the same time, high-quality components are in short supply, and the cherry on top, there is no solution to the situation. Nonetheless, engines continue to be sold, and everyone bears the losses, including airlines that may face collapse. If the company could overcome the difficulties influencing engine performance, it would take around 10 years to cope with the consequences. But there is no remedy yet, and the engine is still being supplied with no replacement. The Leap engine is difficult to obtain. Losses and issues are increasing with each passing day. Now, do you think Pratt & Whitney can fix these issues in the next five years? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel. Also, please take our membership to encourage us.